Good evening. So it's the uh, night of Tuesday, the 16th of July, but I think we're now into Wednesday, 17th of July. Full moon rising. I don't know all the, uh, the meanings of all the moons and things, but uh, we, it was a half blood red moon rising, which I got a beautiful picture of that from down by the sea. Um, and now I'm going to share with you my poem crystals that I just wrote last week. And um, yeah, my work has been looking at the healing consciousness of the gemstones in the book of Revelation. Um, and you know, I've met with the, the comments uh, from Christians that crystals and energy healing and um, stuff like that are new age and uh, against God. Um, and then probably on further conversation they don't actually know that gemstones describe the Revelation 21, the new heavens, the new Jerusalem, the heavenly city is described in gemstones, or well, crystals actually, rather than gemstones. So, uh, here we go. This is, <laughs> look, my my books are all looking at the, the way that they work uh, with the body in a conclusive way that I know to be true. Crystals, so it's based on Revelation 21 and 22. So the new heaven coming down to earth as the crystals, um, gemstones are described. First Corinthians 15.52, so the last trumpet, um, we will be changed just as a twinkling of an eye. Um, and on this one I conclude that it's because of the nervous system change that will uh, occur. So when we lose that state of love, we're, we're flipped from... Uh, an endorphin parasympathetic nervous system with full brain reason consciousness into the fear response, the adrenaline fear response, fight, flight, fight syndrome, you might know it as. Uh, it's the autonomic nervous system uh, when it goes into survival mode. And the full brain thinking ability and reasoning shuts down and we go into sort of supercharged body power too get away from whatever the danger might be. A lot of the time it's office danger these days. <laughs> um, uh, but of course, uh, when we're in that state of stress, then we're pretty unreasonable and unnegotiable. Um, so the key to life is to be able to get back to that endorphin love in the parasympathetic nervous system my conclusion is that love is not a cortisol. The cortisols are trendy. They are the caffeines. They are the, the stimulants uh, that people survive on in this uh, stressed out world. So love is not a cortisol. And we need to attain to that. Endorphin blood made whole and one in us. Through the love of Jesus Christ. Through letting him take the load, lighten our burden, and make life balanced. I'm making sure we're kind to each other, we're moral to each other, that we have rest, that we have good food, that we take time for spiritual matters. So, this is a, a sort of kenning poem, which I think is sort of like a love poem, descriptive love poem type of thing. Um, uh, sort of maybe a little bit of an ode called Crystals. You fascinate me as a hungry desire for food, temptations that are not unhealthy. You glisten and catch in light to refract and polarise a dark depression looming. You bring light to the dark. You have helped me and you have helped me to help others each with your own unique elements connecting with our ether, that homeopathic connection of me to you, of us to you and the universe. 
dust to dust, the place we unite as one. Your rainbows of colours matching the resonance of our chakras, vibrations of sound and colour, a symphony played as an orchestra of geometric patterns matching our cells. Connecting elements, connecting love and light and life. Dust to dust, crystals, you are the connection. Oh, crystals, there is no mystery to how you work and how you do heal. You are not new age, but old age, as old as the ancient of days, older than man himself. However, it is woman who sees your beauty and intuitively knows your healing powers beyond your sparkle. You are old age and not new age and not of the Antichrist, but of the new Jerusalem for heaven to come down to earth, glowing as a jasper stone for healing all nations and assisting in the princely peace process worthy of honour for twofold peace and heaven on earth, peace within and peace without with others, self and God who is love, worthy of honour, made golden by the golden rule for positive love. Love is not a cortisol. Why do we complicate love? Crystals, you have so much to say to make crystal clear where we have fallen short, and yet with love, kindness, reason and understanding, you fill the missing link between heaven and earth, between mind and body in our nervous system. You fill the void, repairing the messaging system for life, for love to reconnect. We can be changed, just as in the twinkling of an eye. We will be changed, just as in the twinkling of an eye, as it is written. Crystal gemstones, you are the catalyst back to love from a darkened place, a treasure found, a language translated for healing, and you light the way to the iron rods in the mitochondria of our cells, for vitality, health and well-being. You facilitate our cell formation and ability to detoxify our body, the temple where we do dwell, the temple where love does dwell. Love is not a cortisol. It is sin that is anti to Christ's love made whole and one in us. Do not fall into the lake of sulphur twice. Crystals, you work even when raw perhaps more beautiful straight from the ground. Truly treasures found. Everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls. Emeralds made from sapphire squared, attaining to amethyst shining like diamonds dancing delicately on water. Chalstoni waltzing with topaz. Sardonic serenading sardius. Turquoise passion speaking love. Love made whole like an olivine, fulfilling complete, like a mine of treasures with no dragon, no pirates or opposition, just understanding with reason. Chrysolite gold, molten into an emerald river flowing to a chrysopase sea. Only our truth will set us free, and Jesus Christ is coming quickly where we will learn war no more. Jerusalem. A green and pleasant land of the dove. What has happened to peace and love? For Jerusalem that was being made here is now being turned into terror and fear. A green and pleasant land do you hear that Jerusalem that was made here is peace that is meant to be from living